All right, so I'm Eusebio. My voice is not powerful today, as you will soon find out. But I promise you that this feature is powerful. Um, I promise you that. And it is powerful because uh, in this AI agenting world, we know that not all agents are made or built equally, so to speak. Some are built within UiPath in a low-code fashion. Others are built outside UiPath in a coded fashion using different agent frameworks. But that doesn't mean that they cannot belong. It doesn't mean that they cannot be integrated, governed, and made enterprise ready. And host their own agent or coded agent delivers on that promise that one can bring an externally built agent, for instance, one using LangGraph within UiPath, and it will become fully integrated with full rights, with full platform benefits. And I think it delivers on an even greater promise want to be future-proof and vendor agnostic, avoiding, avoiding any lock-in in this ever-changing, ever-evolving AI landscape. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump into the uh, demo and I would like you to walk you through a typical journey. Let's assume that we've built an, or even just found an agent on the internet that is public. And for instance, we found support ticket classification system that promises to automatically classify support tickets into predefined categories with a confidence score. Looks good, we look at the diagram, it seems that it classifies, ask for human approval, if everything is okay, it continues, if not, it uh, classifies again, and that is it. Okay, so it's public, it's what we want, what now? We want to make it enterprise ready and to integrate this with our UiPath platform tools, automations, and all the platform has to offer. So I will switch to the developer environment. I will just clone this <clears throat> repo. I will create my environment. As you can see, it is the same agent. I can even create a diagram, it's the same one. Maybe I will do a run or two just to make sure that it's what I expected. And once I'm ready, I will publish it to the UiPath platform. And I can do that via an authentication. I have some tools like UiPath authentication that will get all the environment uh, configurations for um, within my ID. Like these ones are automatically generated. And once I'm done with that, then I can continue to uh, initiate a package and then publish it. So let's do just that. UiPath init. As you can see, it created this <clears throat> file here, which says that this agent has this input, this output, and these bindings. Uh, probably I've done some changes, so I have to you know, change the version. Let's say it's version 17. I save it. I'm satisfied with it. And then I will pack it. It's done, and then publish it. I see that we can go on tenant feed and done. The package was published successfully. Now, if I go to the UiPath platform then, and I uh, refresh this one, I can see that I have a new package that was published eight seconds ago, this one that I just created. Obviously, the next step would be to yeah, maybe run it. Uh, now I can see that this version 16, which is obsolete now, uh, in the AI world, uh, three minutes is good enough to become obsolete. So I will upgrade to the latest version. It should become version 17, hopefully. Okay. And now I can have a run. In the interest of time, I will start the process now and we'll look at how we can integrate it or are we already integrated it within the UiPath platform. For instance, you see on the right side the input, which is the message ticket ID and uh, the one who should actually check the output from this agent. And this is retrieved from the code where I say, it should have this input and this input and this input, and it should be absolutely required in order to start this, this agent. Moreover, I can load environment variables like endpoints and Langsmith tracing. Uh, but even more important than that, I can use the UiPath SDK to bring the UiPath context in my coding environment. And I can do it here, just I will give you some examples, like 
this is my <clears throat> UiPath, and I can say context grounding and ingest data, for instance. Or if I want to use a connection, I can also do that. Let's say I want to use a connection or maybe a Gmail connection. And I have the UiPath context, connections, assets, and so on in my coding environment. What I use for this case is that I retrieve an, the open AI key from my assets in my platform. And as you can see here, check assets, and I use this one in code. Okay, let's go and see uh, the process, the job. Now it is suspended. Uh, and the resume condition is that it created for me a ticket. It assigned to me, and now I have to go to Action Center to give a response. I will give a refresh here. And one minute ago, this was created for me. And I will be mean. It says that this ticket was classified as security with a confidence score of 90%. I will say, no, I don't believe you. And I will submit the response. This will trigger another check from the agent. Moreover, we can look at the traces within UiPath. See the diagram within UiPath. But also, let's see if it renders it, maybe later. But also in Langsmith. Just by setting the environment, I can see in Langsmith that I have this package, that I'm the one that should respond, and all the details on how this agent would work and the trace for it. Now going back to my run, you can see that I see step-by-step step what's happening. And what should trigger now is that it created a new classification. It was the first one. I said, I'm not satisfied with that. He created another one and created another ticket for me. Now, this is powerful, but this is not the whole story, right? This is just the, the beginning. Um, and to demonstrate this, I will show a simple but very powerful move. In Maestro, I will just add an agent. And this agent is just the one that I've created a few minutes ago. And it's an agent, an actor that has full rights and full platform benefits within UiPath. Obviously, this is not a real case. So just to give a flavor of what it could be, I've created a more realistic use case here just to see how it would uh, integrate. This use case would start with creating a new contact in Salesforce. This contact would be given to an agent that is built within your iPad and hosted within your iPad that would say, is this contact something relevant or is it gibberish? Uh, just to have a pre-validation. If it's okay, then we'll set that contact information to two agents. One, a Langchain one, just like the one that we've seen before, which is built outside UiPath, but hosted within UiPath, and another one that is fully remote, built outside UiPath, hosted outside UiPath. We combine the result of the two, and we have another agent that takes the output from these two agents and creates an evaluation score. In this case, it created, uh, it had the high score, and it resulted with great opportunity in Salesforce. Now, I will not go into details on how this looks but and the uh, traces, but this demonstrates the, the power of an agnostic multi-agent orchestration platform where host your own agent completes the picture and delivers on the Switzerland promise. And I will conclude with an invitation to join the private preview.